Hey guys, Andrew here. We're going to be checking out packages today. If you're not familiar with Composer, you're probably going to be better off looking at that video first. Typically with packages, you're going to be coupling these libraries to a composer.json file. So uh, knowing, knowing and understanding Composer is key to making the best use out of packages. Uh, what packages does is allows you to search for features or uh, search through descriptions. It's a massive index of uh, libraries and things that are uh, designed to work with the LAMP stack. Most of the time I find myself using this service to find libraries for um, uh, third-party APIs, typically. So Facebook, um, the SDK would be found here. Uh, you would find, you know, just unsurmounted uh, number of libraries associated to various services and things around the internet. Um, so I use this anytime a client comes to me and there's like a weird, maybe a weird gateway that I've never heard of. The first place that I go to is packages.org and it's going to be the best place to find these repositories, um, at least for the LAMP stack as far as that is concerned. In order to use the packages that you find on packages though, uh, you're going to have to start by finding the correct one that you want. Um, click on the name of the item. In the top right corner of the page that it's taken you to, you're going to find the GitHub repository, or typically it's a GitHub repository. Um, typically clicking on that, it'll give you further instructions about how to compose or require the item um, and then install it. Additionally, if you scroll down a ways on the packages page, uh, occasionally you'll find installation instructions on that as well. Bear in mind that not all of these packages are going to work right out of the box. Often you'll have to add um, a service provider or some sort of bootstrap to also uh, take on some of the objects that are presented within the library. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.